This here epicenter, or when I was 13 and dumb, I called it epic, like, enter epic center because I was a moron, uh, is really solid. I am relatively fond of this one. It never came up too often in official, or I say official, but, you know, it's a dedicated server. You can put whatever map you want on there. I never noticed it a lot in, like, you know, server rotations back in when I used to play this game a lot. But when it did, you know, people seemed to like it enough. I don't I don't remember anyone complaining in text that, oh, this map sucks and it cr killed my mom or anything like that. But, you know, it's pretty good. Uh, I'm going with 24 players here, but this will work just fine with 32. Uh, for my taste, it's just a little bit too crowded. So, judging by the name, of course, it's based off of, like, you know, kind of like an earthquake just happened. Like, you know, the aftermath. Stuff like that. It's a capture the flag map, except it's technically reverse capture the flag. Not that it makes too much of a difference here, but, you know, what you actually have to do, let's go over to the entry point here, is obviously someone on your team has got to take the flag, and what they do is that they're going to take it to the enemy base, and you have to take it into a stationary APC, uh, and that's how you score points, and when you do that, the map resets, and then you just keep doing that. Obviously, yeah, see, there you go, so now the barrier's gone. So, yeah, anyway, um, wow. Damn! That was fast! So yeah, that's what happens when someone captures the flag, yeah. Huh. Anyway, so yeah, let's talk about the map itself. So you got two ways to go from your spawn point. Grab those grenades, always a good time. Uh, so let's go and talk about, like, the APC first. So, if you go this way, and something you're gonna notice about this map is there's a lot of multiple routes, but there's also a lot of hiding places and, like, you know, areas to build sentries. So this is, like, kind of a- st it's a bit of a stalemate map. Um, maybe not quite to the same extent of, as Rock 2 and some other maps. But yeah, see, this is a great little sniper defense part, or like, you know, sentry part, I should say, sorry. Here as well, even if you can't get around, you can actually jump over this, I remember, but I could be wrong. You could also be a soldier and just like, you know, have sex at the gate. I don't know how, like, you know, don't really recommend that. You can build stuff here, you can build stuff there, you can defend here. And yeah, see, there you go, this is the, um, the, uh, blue team's APC that they had to take their flag into. And yeah, that's what I mean. You gotta get somehow get that all the way from your base to here. Which could be a little hard, I'm not gonna lie. But not the, like, again, it's not rock, too. So yeah, let's work backwards from here. So yeah, here's the flag. If you're the enemy attacking team, you have a couple of ways to get in here. Uh, let's start on the first floor here. Um, if you're on this team, this is, you can get to this um, area from the uh, kind of like, you know, central area, which we'll talk about more here. You're not going to be going through this way a lot because it's very risky. Um, if you're defending, you can get up, or you can also, like, you know, be even the attacker, you can try getting up from here. Also, you can, like, obviously conquer rocket jump here, don't forget that. You can get up here to build a teleporter or sentry gun. Don't ever forget about this little spot here, because I feel a lot of people do. And, yeah, see, this is uh, the upper way. You'll be, I feel most attackers will be coming from this way to try to get the flag. Though, obviously, the enemy, the defending team is going to keep that in mind, so, you know, very risky. Uh, obviously you can conk jump. If you do happen to be taking this way, it's something you can try. Is try to conk jump or rocket jump up to here, but very risky. Very risky, because obviously, this is, uh, like, one of the, um, the second path in the spawn area leads to here, so, you know, you gotta be careful. If you were to be coming from this way as, the, the like, the defender, there's this little wraparound area here where you can, like, either be, like, a, like, you know, build a sentry, snipe, demo, whatever you wanna do. Uh, very good stuff. So now that we're back in the center area here... This is kind of like the bridge crossovers. This is where you go from one base kind of to the other. You can see even with the colors, it kind of changes that way. Um, this is basically, you'd think that this would be the equivalent to like 2 forward or like crossover 2's bridge. But I find most of the time it's here. Though, do expect like, you know, medics and scouts to be conk jumping across this if they're really good. Because I've seen that happen before. And that's also, you can get into this area if you want to do that. Um, obviously, let's not forget about this. If you were... Like I said, oh wait, no, pfft, I already talked about that, what the hell am I doing? Uh, you could use this area to get up here, this little area to get up to the other bridge. Which leads to that little down area I brought up earlier. Um, and, or this area, little area here, which I actually neglected to mention it now. Which is yet another way you could try to get into that, like, one area I brought up, like, the main attacking area. Uh, you could also be building sentries and teleporters up here. I've seen, uh, the attacking team build stuff up here, like, it really just... Push the attendant defending team right into this little area here. So be careful. And yeah, there's that little other area I brought up conk jumping here. So yeah, don't forget this little bridge here. Because I feel if you're really actually trying to capture the flag, you want to try to take either this way 
and then go like you know climb up here or you're gonna be like rocket jumping up and yeah that's that's basically it really solid map um well i wouldn't call it my absolute all-time favorite but it's definitely it's a really good time you can't go wrong with it also, not that it's super important, but yeah, I'll just re reiterate that this uh, was launched the same day, which I actually already forgot. I think it was in June sometime, June, June 2000. This debuted the same time as Dust Bowl. And another map I'm partial about, but always forget about, is Warpath. But we'll, we'll get to that, and we'll talk about Warpath in its own little video, because I have quite a bit to say about that one. Also forgot to set the time limit, so that's why the map was set. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Oh, that coffee's really hot. And then I realized I set the time limit too low. I just, I'm, I'm a freaking imbecile. I hope someone time travels and tears my eye out. No one's being engineer. I think that's probably for the best I'd be real quick. I'm going to try to build a teleporter here just because, you know, I, I really like, you know, just messing with the enemy. Where am I going to put? Can I put, build it right here? Actually, I can't remember. I always forget if you're allowed to build in your... Yeah, that's what I thought. You can't build teleporters. So, yeah, if you're going to build a teleporter, try to build it here. That's why I always did it. Close enough that, you know, it's right outside the spawn, basically. But not, like, you know, right there, because then the enemy is probably going to see it at some point. I mean, the enemy could find it here, don't get me wrong. But, you know, it's far less likely to just be taken out by a random grenade or something. Not that this map is known for grenade spam or anything. It's not like freaking Dust Bowl or anything like that. But you know what I mean. Alright, so the idea is I want to be as far into this as possible. Well, see, I kind of foiled it. I don't know, do I really want to be building so close... Hmm, I don't know yet. I mean, I could try anyway. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna go for gold here. Oh, yeah, see, this is what I mean. And you would do this. Why are you idiots going backwards? That's not how it works. Dumb guys. Hopefully the bots, the fox bot isn't smart enough to figure this out. Oh, hey. Oh, well, no wonder. No wonder I was just sitting there. I was like, oh, yeah, I guess someone just died randomly, but no. That's gonna be where you'll notice, uh, like, the mass majority of your, um, like, holdups on this map are is right here because someone's built a sentry right under this little underpass around it. I mean, that's not a big deal because I got a bunch of grenades to throw at it. Or just take it. Yeah, see, there you go. I'm a genius. Ignore me, ignore me, ignore me, ignore me. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, wow, what? What is it? Oh, that would have been absolute dope slappage if I somehow been the... An engineer capturing the flag? What is this l loony nonsense? Well, thankfully they still haven't figured out this teleporter. Never mind. Or... You like, you bumbling imbecile! What a dumbass! You had every opportunity to just ruin my Christmas and destroy that, like, teleport exit. But now you're just gonna let it slant, like, stand. What a charlatan! But I might also be the only one taking this thing at all, so I don't know. Fuck it, I'm rushing. Oh, man. Oh, they already built another sentry. God damn it. Well, if the flag gets reset, I'm going to build a sentry up there anyway. I'm just not wasting right now because I, I want to see what happens. Oh, there it is. Excellent. Just keep it alive. Oh, 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 you gotta keep pressing. Why are you fucking idiots not taking the teleporter? You could have already captured this fucking thing, but no, you're dumb. Goodness gracious. Let's see, finally a demo man. Yeah, okay, good. I got rid of that. Okay, good. That, as long as the sentries get down, I think I can rush now. Okay, good. Demo man, strike. Dead serp. Never mind. Never mind! You try to be helpful and, tell, you know, be a team player, and this is what happens. Everyone ignores your efforts. And then you get bounced in the air. I got fucking slam dunked! Oh my god, I would turn into a human bolt, like bouncing ball there. Wow! I'm going this way, fuck it. Yeah, just throw that grenade at myself for good luck. Okay, are we, is still anyone? Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> well, that strategy has proven effective. I'm gonna do it again. I'm, I am the, the, the master, the grand sensei. Of this freaking map, apparently. You're a spy! You're a spy! You're a spy! You're a spot! You're not a spy, sorry. Well, I want to get rid of sentries before they even have a chance to, like, sprout and grow. They're freaking weeds. See, look at that. Look at that one! Did you see that? Oh, but I took it out at the same time. Oh, an eye for an eye. 
Well, I still don't see the flag over there, so I'm gonna build a sentry this time. Just be an annoying asshole. Yeah, right here. Two can play at that game. <laughs> I mean, this is probably gonna get my thing noticed, unfortunately, but oh well. This is more fun this way. I've already had my fun, like, actually trying to capture the flag as is, so... Can you even- how much can you even see? Are you a spy?! No, I think you're moving too fast. Well, this should be interesting. Where is it? There's another one, damn it. Probably... Ah! Oh. Dorko! Ha ha! Yeah, come over here, see what happens. Spy! 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 Spin! 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 Just... Can you die already? Fuck! Oh, you son of a bitch! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! No! Well, thankfully that was just my teleporter. Not, so it's, it doesn't really matter at all. Oh, I keep missing with those EMP grenades. Because if you don't know, those are um, dependent on how much metal is on the person like gets hit by it. So if technically with heavy weapons, guys, that should like destroy them in one hit because of the sheer amount of like shotgun shells on their person, you know? Die! Are you just going to stand there while I shoot you in the crotch? That's not a good idea. Oh, shit! Let's go! Ah! All right, it's my chance. Welcome to a complete ownage zone. And I somehow missed a flag. Yeah, but see, that's what I brought, brought up. You'll notice with those two heavy weapon guys, I just destroyed them. Like, absolutely eviscerated them into nothingness with that EMP. And that's what you really want to use these for is the big threats like this. Oh, again. Okay, maybe not a one-shot kill, but it's certainly going to bring the pain a lot more than anything else will. Fuck this. There's really no need to build a dispenser up here just because of the sheer, like, there's a little respawning thing here. And you can always pick up ammo, like, from the dead bodies and stuff, so I don't even bother. Yeah, see? It's a good stuff, too, because you just know there's going to be heavy weapons guys, like, dicking around down there. So this is a good way to try to help your team. Engineer is really effective on this map, in my opinion. This is one of the best NG maps, if I gotta be completely honest. I mean, by now, my sentry should have been destroyed. This strategy isn't actually as effective of it as I'm making it out to be. Because, you know, a smart player would be using their grenades and chucking them up here. Especially with the teleporter. But, I just bring up the teleporter thing, especially if you don't build a sentry. Because it's a lot more inconspicuous than you might think. Like, of course, once they see the, like, the rail, red, like, or, like, blue, like, you know, like, teleport marker around a player that's used one, they'll start figuring out that someone's, like, built one nearby. But that could be in several places, and it might not be immediately obvious. As you can see, too, that, all, that, uh, backpack also gives you health and armor back. I didn't even realize that, because most of them don't give you health and stuff, so that's... That makes this spot even more broken than I thought it was. Or maybe more broken, but not as broken as I... I don't know what I'm talking about. I kind of wish I moved it even closer forward so I could shoot people over here, but oh well. Well, during this downtime, as I wait for something to happen... Let me help you with your armor, my friend. Oh, fuck! Well, that only... Oh. Did I just get telefraked? Huh. Huh. I've never had that happen before in this game. I knew it could happen, but I've just never had it happen. Very refreshing experience, I guess. I don't know. Oh, I love the big explosion from that, too. You know, I should I should be impressed by any time there's a big explosion in this game because it's just a low-quality, like, image. Like, sprite work, basically. But it's just satisfying because it's so goddamn big. Oh, my God, we gotta press this. I'm gonna press it. Fuck it. Don't give a shit. Yeah, oh, I had to sacrifice myself to get rid of that sentry, but I don't care. We got this, guys! Let's do it! Let's go! You know, if I really wanted to be authentic, I really should not have been playing these maps with the teleporter enabled. Or be, like, you know... Because remember, as I've said uh, in, I don't know which one, maybe the Rock 2 video, that teleporters did not exist in this game until, like, the, like, the Steam 2003 patch. Um... So, you know, if I wanted to be authentic... Where is it? What? Where, where is it? Where is it? 
Where is it? No, really, where the hell is it? Di what? 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 It, it, I left it. Ne never mind. Oh my god, my sentry got killed. Oh, well, that, that happens. I should be expected it happen eventually. But yeah, if I really wanted to be authentic playing these maps, I should have just had... My not use teleporters myself and on Foxbot you can actually tell it to not uh the bot engineers to not build teleporters. So I should have been doing that, but frankly, the, the like you know the way I look at it, like the maps for this game, even all these classic maps well actually I should be saying every map outside of um Revelin or Ravelin and whatever it's called, which was it came out the same time that uh, they added teleporters in. Um, they were in the game at most, like, th four years before teleporters were added. Well, they've been in the game with teleporters for almost two decades now. So I would say most people have probably played this game with the teleporters versus not. That's how I look at it. So. Yeah, I know that's a weird thing to be talking about, but I just wanted to make that clear. Why I did that, even though, you know, if I wanted to be authentic, I, sh I shouldn't have done that. But, you know, who cares? Who really cares? I kind of want to... Let's build it over here instead. I feel this might be a smarter idea. Also, just to add some variety. Why not? Because then once I build the sentry here... Yeah, I got an idea. Well, well, never mind. Oh, medic! Damn it! Well, thankfully he didn't affect me. Oh, he, what? Are you a spy? Now look at what you've done. I needed medical attention and you got yourself eviscerated. Thanks for nothing. Oh uh, yeah, epicenter, epic center, epic of the center of the epicenter. It's good stuff. 